بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم دس از کیمبرج پرائمری میتھمیٹکس لرنرس بک وان اینڈ آئی ایم آسن ان مائی پریویس ویڈیوز وی ہیو اسٹارٹیڈ دا ٹاپک ٹائم اینڈ ان ٹوڈیز ویڈیو ون منٹ لیٹ می گیٹ آن دا پیج یس اٹ از دس ٹاپک اوکے ان مائی ٹوڈیز ویڈیو آئی ول ٹیل یو ہاؤ ٹو ٹیچ دا ٹاپک ٹائم ان دا کلاس اینڈ ہاؤ پیرنٹس کین ٹیچ دس ٹاپک ٹو دیئر کڈس and inshallah in my this video i'll complete this unit and uh, then in next video we'll start the next unit okay the very first thing you have to discuss in the class that you can tell the kids that there are different times of the day we get up early in the morning and then um, we start our day that is a day time and when we go to bed that is bed time sleep time okay and uh, then you can tell the students that there are few ways to keep a track of your time we look at the time and this is a clock and this clock is called analog clock introduce the word analog to your kids this is analog clock and tell them that when we have to keep a track of our days and uh, dates then we look at the calendar this is calendar okay and uh, yes while uh, you introduce clock to your students tell them that there are two hands on the clock short hand and long hand short hand is hour hand and long hand is minutes hand and short hand uh, sometimes students are confused how short the short hand is tell them that short hand will never touch the digit written on the clock and long hand will always touch the digit written on the clock it is two o'clock and it is four o'clock right short hand will never touch the digit written on the clock and long hand will touch the digit written on the clock and then move on to your next thing yes give them the vocabulary of uh, the topic time afternoon clock evening half past hands hour minute morning o clock today tomorrow week and yesterday and you can add some more words as well like uh, noon they haven't written the word noon here or they didn't write midnight you can discuss time with your kids like this okay and one more thing tell them that whenever the long hand is at 12 it is o clock time it is o clock time o clock is the easiest way to tell the time o clock time it is the first thing we introduce about clocks to our kids okay and then complete each sentence by drawing a line from the word to the space in the morning i get out of the bed in the evening i get into my work bed today is yes here my today is wednesday so i'll put this in the line and tomorrow it will be thursday inshallah and uh, yesterday it was tuesday so i did it okay next is uh, telling the time on the clock it is three o'clock six o'clock nine o'clock and i think it is easy to manage this these times in the class i'm in a zoom meeting so if you have any questions you can ask me in comment section or uh, in chat box i will not turn on any person's audio here in the video because to respect your privacy Okay there are 7 days in a week write the missing days and use the list to help you All the days are written here and you can continue this days of the week wheel One minute I got a question on my phone it is uh, someone is asking how to uh, do this in the class as an activity it's very good question you can do this work in the class as an activity you can ask the students to bring a 
chart paper or you can give them a chart paper cut it like this in a circle and um, make equal equidistant uh, shape like this and uh, make a wheel in the center same like this you can uh, do it as an activity the same thing and uh, in this way they can learn the spellings of days of the week and uh, for the activity of this clock you can bring the clock to the class you can get big clocks from the stationery shop to use in the class take the clock in the class and uh, show the time and how hands move on the clock and one more thing when you move a um, short a long hand or short hand any one of them on the clock tell the students that the other hand will move along like look at this clock if this our hand will move and if this our hand will touch this six uh, if the our hand will touch the digit six then sorry i said our hand minutes hand thanks for correcting me zainab okay if this minutes hand will touch six this our hand will go in the middle okay the our hand will also move with minutes hand okay if if it will move this will also move you need to tell this to your kids that uh, if when one hand of the clock is moving the other hand will also move and our hand moves a little and minutes hand moves faster than our hand okay if it is uh, nine let me draw 9 30 then 9 will be here 30 will be here it means both of the hands will move and if it is 9 45 then 9 will go here and 45 the long hand will come here okay okay next what o'clock time does the clock show this is 12 o'clock 12 o'clock okay draw a ring around the correct time it is uh, five o'clock okay here you can tell the students that when one of the hand is missing it doesn't mean that the clock has lost one hand it means it's hidden behind the other hand okay it is five o'clock then nine o'clock and two o'clock this is easy and then after these things you will introduce uh, half past half past to your kids half past time half past three half past four or if it is half past one then you will draw one long short hand here and long hand here half past one okay they are saying that the clocks have uh, missed their hands and uh, can you tell the time okay let me zoom in to show you when the hand is between two digits it means it is not o'clock time it is between two digits you have to pick the smaller one what happened to the book let me see okay one minute it is glitching i think i have bad internet connection that's why zoom is misbehaving one minute okay when it is between two different digits you have to pick the smaller one you will say it is half past seven half past seven okay and here it is a little bit after eight so you can say that it is eight o'clock and five minutes 
8 o'clock and 5 minutes in this clock and this one is half past 7. If it is, if they have to draw 8, then draw it exactly on 8 and a longer hand at 12. And in this blue clock, it is half past 1 because it is between 1 and 2. When it is between two digits, you have to pick the smaller one because the students are mostly confused in it that, oh, is it 1.30 or 2.30? Is it 4.30 or 3.30? You have to tell them that when it is between two digits, you have to pick the smaller one. Uh, one minute, let me get the message here. Okay. Okay, the question I have received in my inbox is uh, how to tell the students when it is quarter to time. Okay, that is entirely a different topic and we will inshallah surely discuss it. And uh, quarter to time is when the longer hand is at uh, 9. It is quarter to time and uh, it must be touching the next digit. But here on this clock it is it is at 2 so it is 2 o'clock 2 o'clock and we can do a drill of o'clock o'clock quarter past half past quarter two o'clock quarter past half past quarter two o'clock quarter past half past quarter two okay for quarter two, the longer hand is at nine and the shorter hand is a little bit behind the digit. Like if it is quarter to two, then it should not be at two. And I said that uh, short hand will not touch the digit and long hand will touch the digit. And it is quarter to two. See, there is a very little difference between... Uh, these two hands the the hand i have drawn and the hand the book has drawn the book is at um uh, the book's hand is at two o'clock and my hand is a little bit before two that means it is quarter two okay and uh, if you have any questions related to this uh, progress check you can ask me and I hope that I'm very much clear with the topic of time with you in my today's video. Hi, in my next video, inshallah, we will start numbers to 20. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.